Hello everybody, you beautiful people, how are you? Today I'm talking about chaos and how we should handle chaos. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So I was talking to the emissaries about these times and and I said so how how do you you know how do you all see it at the moment and they said we're in a tremendous place of chaos at the moment and it's interesting because lots and lots of key people have been using the word chaos I've seen it and it's true we are in chaotic times very chaotic and the emissaries were saying that this chaos has to be has to happen it's part of the awakening process. It's part of waking people up. What they were saying was this. When things are chaotic, people have always looked to the governments, to the authorities, to fix the chaos. And we, we know the Hegelian dialect. They created it in the first place. Yeah, They created it in the first place. And then they fix it. And you, everyone goes, hey, well done. That's what, that's, that's what a democracy is all about. That's it. They fix these problems for us. But the chaos that we're seeing now is is out of their hands. You know, and, uh, for example, if you look at the, the, the farmers, you know, here in Spain, all the farmers are on strike. And, and not only are they on strike, but they're going to the city centres and creating havoc. The shelves are starting to empty. Uh, now, some people and rightly so, have questioned this, you know, have they been incited into doing this? You know, is this part of the buddy's plan? Who knows? But it's chaotic. It's chaotic. And what's happening is the governments are not able to fix this chaos. And I'm not just talking about the farmers, like in general, this chaos within the government. I mean, look at all of the horrible, horrible things about what was happening in the Senate with all of, you know, all of this, this bribery and corruption based on nights of cocaine and, and prostitutes. And here in Spain, during the, the, the lockdown, they were having parties with cocaine and prostitutes. There's a pattern here, you may see. But all of this is like coming out and it's just all chaotic everywhere. So the emissaries were saying that the people will see that the authorities are not able to fix the chaos. In fact, they are a major player in the chaos. And so they will lose faith. Bless them. And timely so. About fucking time. That they lose faith in all of that. And they have to look around because people need stability. People want stability. And so... If they can't find stability one place, they'll look for it elsewhere. If they can't find the answers one place, they'll look for them elsewhere. And this is part of what's going to create the, you know, the big wave which we're in now of the Great Awakening. This is where like there's going to be rumblings in the jungle. Yeah. So that's what they were saying. It's going to be chaotic. But they said, for those that have eyes to see, we know that this chaos must come. And so for us. It doesn't affect us in the same way. We actually welcome the chaos. Not that we want chaos in our lives, which I'm going to talk about, but we welcome the chaos because we know that it's part of... The, the emissaries used an expression and they said, what we know is that there's order in the chaos. Order in the chaos sounds very familiar. So they said that chaos is coming and happening because it's part of the order. It's part of the plan. It's part of this process. It has to happen. So when we see it happen, we can take heart to know that it's part of what should happen. So we needn't worry too much about it. So I asked them, what do we do meantime? What do we do? And they, they used this word and it, and it came... When, when I communicate with them, I kind of like, you know, get streams of information, but every now and again, a word stands out. They make it stand out. And they said, we must, they said you, you must continue doing what you're doing. You must continue in your own work. 
They said, whatever happens, do not stop and become the observer of the chaos. Don't stop and start observing the chaos. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing, and you know, I, I just see in, in our group of, of, uh, of people in the Telegram group, it's a beautiful group and it's just going from strength to strength. You know, people are so wise and they've got so much information now. And if you'd like to join the Telegram group, the link's down there in the video information, but you've got to be a nice person, okay? But come and bring your wisdom to the group. So I've seen that people are like developing themselves at such a pace, always, always looking to better themselves, to become more. And that's what the emissaries are saying. We must continue on that path of self-improvement, self-betterment, becoming more and more of who we truly are. Okay, not anybody else, just who we are. That's what we've got to do. And what they said, this, and this, was, this took me by surprise, and they said, now is a really good time to start building plans for whatever business, whatever process you want to create in the future. They said, now's the time to start making the plans. They said, it isn't the time to start a new venture but it's an excellent time to start making the plans. And what they said was, was not just making the plans like, yeah, that would be a great idea, I'll do that sometime. No, they, they said actually starting to build the structure to get the training that you need, the learning, to look at the fight, how you would get the finance, the structure of your bit, whatever it is that you need, premises, whatever. They said do the work to get that business whatever it is, they didn't say business, but like whatever the project, ready. Because they said there'll come a time when it will be ready to roll. It really will be ready to roll. And if you've got all your plans in place, so that's what they said we should be focusing on. It's like self-development. What do I want to do? What do I want to build? And you start working on that, getting everything in place. But I said to them, <laughs> another time question, which we're never going to answer, but I said, how long is this chaos going to last? How long will the chaos last? Yeah, I don't particularly like chaos. I like order. And they said, it will last for a good while. <laughs> okay, a goodly while. They said, but it won't be constant. They explained that humankind is constantly working to find homeostasis, to find balance, to find normality. And so they said that what will happen is we'll have waves of chaos and then it'll settle down and people will become uh, normalizing that particular event. And then another wave will come and then that'll settle down and another wave will come. And so they were saying it won't be constant. But they said, for a good while, we will be going through chaotic situations. Uh, and it's almost like, you know, everything has to be thrown up in the air and then it'll settle down and we'll find the right place again. And then it'll be thrown up in the air again. So that's what they said. Mm, we've got to expect this constant shifting because w w there's a big shift got to happen. You know, there's a, n a tremendous shift got to happen. And so we've got to kind of be ready to see that happen. But they said, for those, you know, those who know, you know that each chaotic wave is just another wave that's going to take us closer to where we want to go to. So we needn't worry too much about it. And their words were, it won't be boring. That's what they said. It won't be boring. There's going to be tons for you to observe and to, to watch happening. And because we understand what this is about, it will be, it won't be frightening for us. It'll be fascinating. And they said, we'll have just so much to talk about constantly. There'll always be a new topic, which is good news for me. Yeah, because I do these videos. So I've got to have something to talk about. Otherwise that would be boring, wouldn't it? So, chaos ensues. However, you know, it's been pretty chaotic for the last four years, have you noticed? And before that, but the last four years, very chaotic. This year is looking exceedingly chaotic, exceedingly, excitingly chaotic. 
So we just have to roll with the babies and hey, work on what you want to do. Get your projects out of your pockets, start writing them down, planning them, preparing them, doing the lot to get them ready to roll because there'll come a time when it's time to roll. All right, I love you all and I'll speak to you all soon.